we learn uh, from this uh, Burmese uh, Buddhist, you know, kind of majority attitude, um, Buddhist majority attitude towards what's happening to the Rohingyas, is a powerful truth about human beings. It doesn't really matter how beautiful a teaching is. The moment we use the label mine and ours, we have the ability to really make the you know, differentiation between us and them and turn even something like Buddhism into a vehicle, an instrument for oppression. So you know, we Buddhists would like to say that we have less things, skeletons in our closet in terms of history. Um, but the fact is, if it is a religion, it will get used. And religion tends to somehow tend to pull at a very deep level of identity and emotion for those who believe in them. And once you turn something like this into a basis of national identity and ethnic identity, then you, know, you can justify anything in the name of protecting that. And this is what has been powerfully demonstrated. And Buddhism is, you know, cannot escape, no matter how beautiful the actual teaching itself is. You know, we humans, society can turn it into a weapon that will be used in a negative way. And unfortunately, that's what has happened. And um, I know that there is a movement on uh, Western Buddhist teachers um, who uh, collected signatures. Uh, you know, Jack Confield was involved in this and trying to somehow draw attention. And also, um, I think it was uh, Buddha Dasa, not Buddha Dasa, uh, uh, one of the major teachers here, um, who in fact did a special compilation of all the teachings from the Buddhist sutras talking about the importance of you know, harmony in society and having compassion for the you know, people other than your own tribe and all of this. Um, been compilation, these were translated back into uh, Burmese language and distributed. So there is an alternative uh, voice too, although right now that voice doesn't seem to be strong enough to really kind of you know, counter what seems to be the main position. And to what extent this is being instigated by the military itself and the civilian government is just too terrified because they're worried that they might use it as an excuse to turn back the clock. To what extent that is what is causing the restraint, and to what extent the monastic silence um, is caused by fear, I'm not sure. Sure, it seems to be a very, very complicated and sad situation. And I think the Buddhist world should really speak up in 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 union, in a single voice, to say that not in Buddhism's name. That really has to be the point made. It's if you are talking about nationalism and ethnic division and ethnic differences, it's one thing. But you cannot use Buddhism as a basis and excuse for treating a whole community of people who are different as somehow justified by in the protection of the Dharma. That's ridiculous. So I think the Buddhist voices that matter needs to speak up. Thank you. Very well said.